Michael yeah. said he's coming after. It's already going. That's fine. I wish I could zoom. Okay. Caleb, let's get started. So Jamie and Jacob are going to present first with on the topic of stars and bars, which is pretty much how to count ways to make groups of stuff. I'm just trying to make him feel uncomfortable. So, and I'm for Mr. Troka. I'm just trying to make him feel uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. No, no, I'm going to, I want to make you feel really uncomfortable. Okay, so stars and bars. So there are multiple equations to calculate different flows of stars and bars. So there are different variables in those equations. So n is the number of stars or objects that you have, and k is the number of groups you want to divide them in. So therefore, k minus 1 is how many dividers between the stars you will need. Alright, so um, the, there's three different equations. The first equation is if, um, if you cannot have a group or a bin, I guess, that has zero objects. So an example of this would be if, um, if I do this, we have two bars and that's a group with one object. Use this equation if you cannot have, like, let's say, like, two bins, uh, two bars right there and no objects inside, so use that equation. If you can have uh, two bars and no, no objects, you use the second equation. And then if you do not have any bars at all, you use this equation where k equals zero, which ends up being one. So basically, like, how many combinations of, um, like how many groups are there with seven stars if you only have one? Um, so for, like, like, a first example, I guess, um, let's say you have two bars, right? Um, you would use this formula right here, and you have two bars. You want to find out how many groups you can make with any set amount of objects. So for this, you would have um, six and then two because you have three groups or two, two bars. And then you just plug that into the calculator and you get that. Okay. I'm going to give you guys an example problem. It's loading. Alright, so let's say there's 11 customers and 3 cashiers, right? Um, how many ways can the customers line up the cashiers in order, and the order of the, each line doesn't really matter? So this is like a direct application of the stars from bars method. You have 11 stars, and in this case, you would have two bars, because there's three groups, three cashiers, so two bars. Um, you would end up using this equation, because you can have a cashier with no customers inside it, um, in his line. So basically, it's going to be 11 plus 2, because there's two bars, and then combination 2. And if you plug that into the calculator, you end up getting 78 possible lineups. Um, so this is, the stars and bars method is often used in like competitions like AMC or I'm not sure, like any other competition that sort of allows you to use a calculator. Um, there's factorials in the equations, so it's sort of hard to not use a calculator. So a really hard example I mean, it's not that hard, but when you first start out, you sort of don't know how to apply stars and bars. With B, let's say you have A plus B plus C equals 1,000. How many different numbers, like, integers can you have for A, B, C for this? Like, how many combinations there are? Um, one of the first things you have to notice is that you can use zero for, like, A or B or C. So you might start off with going like A equals A minus 1 because you want to give it a 0. Then B equals B minus 1, C equals C minus 1. And then you plug it in here, so you end up getting A plus B plus C equals 997. Um, so Wait, from here you might be thinking how to use the stars and bars method. Well, if you think about it, you have 997 stars and two bars, because there's three groups. 
Um, so you just use this equation again, because like I previously stated, zero is an option. You're going to have like zero plus you know, 997.0. So it's going to be 997 plus 3 minus 1, so that's 999. And then here it's 2. You just plug that into the calculator or do the factorials also using the calculator. And you're going to get, for this example, um, 498,500. Yeah. Well, I was talking about calculators. We don't have to get calculators on the test, but that is a lot of times the numbers are either going to be do a lot of canceling out, as in like denominators and numerators will just leave a fewer numbers, or or the, they'll say leave it in combinatorial notation. So, like, for example, instead of but, mm -hmm. but